How's it going, Forex traders? Welcome back to yet another amazing video from yours truly, Dapper Willis, and I am back with another bang. I'm sure you're probably wondering, this guy has been dropping a significant amount of Trader Talk videos lately. Now, for those of you guys who don't know what Trader Talk is, Trader Talk is basically a segment of my YouTube channel whereby I come to give you guys what is popping, bro. I come to give you guys some top-notch analysis that you can take into your own trading and ultimately make a lot of money. And the reason I've been doing this a lot this year is I've decided that this year, all my followers, subscribers, and most importantly, the Forex Mastery students will make a lot of money. I am dedicated to putting more funds in your bank account. If you are with me, share hallelujah. Comment hallelujah down right there in the comment section. <laughs> Guys, so I'm very, very gassed because um, like I said, this year I'm committed to providing as much value as possible. Now, guys, before I jump into my charts today, I've got some really cool stuff. I've, I want to explain to you guys what's happening with gold. I want to tell you guys, you know, the juicy setups that you could be trading. You know, after you watch this video, just take it on. Pretty much make some money off, off, off my analysis. But before I jump into that, something I need to address. The very first thing that I need to address is what exactly is happening in the, in the, in the market as we speak. So what's happening now is we're starting to see liquidity move from one market to another market, right? So what tends to usually happen is the Forex market will trend for a long period of time. And then after some time, you start to notice that the market isn't really moving. And then you start to hear a lot of stuff on the news about the stock market, which is the US market, it's the biggest stock market in the world. What has now happened in that case is money liquidity the investment banks the hedge funds and all those guys have taken all their money they probably made a lot of money from forex you know they're done trading maybe they, they want to come they, they they're done trading the, the they've probably hit targets for the year and stuff like that and they want to explore or they want to diversify their portfolio so what they do is they take the money liquidity that they have and they go into the stock market and start trading the stock markets and then when they're done with that they go into commodities and crypto and blah 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 they list you know all the big markets so that's exactly what is happening right now in the financial markets globally right now i'm sure you can tell that the forex market is not giving <laughs> the forex market just ain't giving right you know you think gbp us is going to fall it actually ain't falling you think euro us is going to drop it ain't dropping and you see looking like it wants to drop it ain't dropping the reason all of this is happening is because liquidity isn't really you know kicking that much right now in the forex market now a lot of traders don't know this so they keep forcing it I see people's mentors dropping signals. Signals ain't banging, bro. <laughs> How do I know this? Because guys, I've been doing this 11, 12 years, man. I know, you know, I know the right, the right and the right time. That's why you always see I'm right nine out of 10 times because I always know the best time to come into the Forex market and make it happen. Now, sorry guys, somebody. Now, how do you mitigate against all this? Like for somebody like me, as we speak, um, I'm going to be showing you guys markets that are trading at the moment but i want you guys to be able to do the same as well and this is why obviously i put together the forex mastery programs called the top down analysis now what this will help you do is first of all it will show you a bigger time frame perspective of what exactly is happening in the forex market right in the markets in, in general so let's take the forex market it will show you okay is this market trending is this market about to trend is it done trending are we about to hit major level of support? Are we about to hit major level of resistance? Are we in a range? Have we just finished? Because after ever after every major trend comes a period of consolidation. Now, as a trader, if you cannot identify this, especially on higher time frames, it will affect your lower time frame trading. Hence, the top down analysis. Okay. Obviously, you most of you who follow me already have the forex mastery program. If you haven't gotten it, get it all. The word is enough for the wise. If not, you're just going to keep trading markets that are, and then all your money is going to. So if you want to make, get it. <laughs> the link is in the description. Get the Forex Master Program. So the first reason that I encourage you guys to understand top down analysis and price action is so that, first of all, you can identify what is this market doing? Is it is it okay to trade this guy? Is it okay for me to trade this guy? Because if this guy is not corresponding with me, he's going to mess up my account. Very first one. Secondly, the top-down analysis will help you identify where exactly is this liquidity. So you take me, for example, 
I can almost never run out of trading opportunities. Why? Because I understand the top-down analysis, which is pretty much how to understand price. Okay, I understand price to the T. And one thing about the, the global financial markets is, you know, it's mass human psychology. Everybody sees the same support, sees the same resistance, sees, you know, we can all see the same thing. So once you have the ability to understand price action properly, you can trade anything. So I'm about to show you guys crypto. And guys, for those of you guys who follow me, you know that my crypto analysis is spot on. If I touch gold, it's happening. If I touch oil, it's happening. If I touch this one, it's happening. And if I touch your girlfriend, it might happen. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> so if you want to be diverse and versatile, this way you're not trapped in one market. This way you're not crying. Get the Forex Mastery Program. Once again, the link is in the description. So that one you know what exactly the market is doing and two you understand where the liquidity is and three you have the ability to trade anything you want to trade provided it is showing you promising signs and the market is about to trend so once again guys my name is dapo willis get the and, and you guys are probably like this guy is always talking about this thing it's so cheap but the reason i want you to get it is because i want you guys to make money until you get it into your brain, guys, how to trade. Until you understand that it's not about one-hour strategies or 15-minute strategies. Um, I want you guys to be able to understand the bigger picture so that once you understand the bigger picture, you can trade your lower time frame strategy in the direction of the bigger picture. And this is where everybody makes some money. Once again, guys, my name is Dapo Willis. Let's jump into the video. As you can tell, I'm pretty hyped. Get the program, more, guys. The link is in the description or around here once again. Now, let's go. Let's talk. BTC, what happened to gold? Euro USD, what else do I have for you guys? And AUD USD. So I've got two juicy setups and I'll have one explanation as to what you guys to do. Okay, for real this time, let's go. Bang on, welcome inside of my screen. Thank you guys for joining me. Now guys, I'm gonna kick things off. I have a list of pairs that I've written out nicely for you guys that I wanna discuss with you guys, I wanna share with you guys, I wanna teach you guys, I wanna help your lives. <laughs> but before I do that, you know what to do. You got to smash the subscribe button right there. Smash it right there. You got five seconds to do it. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's jump into this. So the very first time I'm going to go over is AUDUSD because I have a... I have a trade on AUDUSD. I'm going to explain the trade, why I took the trade. And I also have another trade lining up for AUDUSD as well. And I'm going to be sharing with you guys how you can jump on that trade as well. Now, um, Forex Mastery students, you already know how we do this. First things first, monthly time frame. Everything's flowing south. Um, as you can see pretty nicely and pretty clearly, everything flowing south, lower lows and lower highs. So guys, you know how it goes. If higher time frame says down, weekly say monthly say down, weekly say down, daily say down, what do we do? We go down. You know, come to a lower time frame and then we trade in the ex in, in the direction that the higher time frame has told us. So if you check the weekly time frame, everybody's saying down. Daily time frame is where we came to execute our trade. So quite briefly and quite quickly my my entries are about here um i think it was a break of this counter trend line and a pullback so i saw a tweezer top and i jumped in i'm just trying to get my exact position i usually don't keep my mt4 on my phone i usually don't keep my oh sorry i usually don't keep my mt4 on my phone sorry i was on instagram i, I usually don't keep my mt4 on my phone because i just speak against it like it's not good to have your mt4 on your phone so that you don't impulse trade but I downloaded it a couple of days ago because I was bragging to one guy of how I made $850,000 in a single trade. He didn't believe me, so I had to show him what I'm made of. So, I'm going to trade four, just want to check. So, my entries are about 69.904.9. Hold on. 69.904. So, this is AUD USD. So, yeah. So, I'm up about 265,000 US on this trade as we speak um currently floating obviously this is floating and then i'm coming guys let me check something i have another trade open but got closed out okay so this is my gold trade that got closed out early on for some profit gold is pissing me off but i still made money on gold all right cool so yeah back to what i was saying so my entries are about here somewhere 
Um, so why did I jump into this trade? It was simple. Higher time frame was saying sell. Higher time frame monthly was saying down. Weekly set down. Daily set down. What do we do? We go selling. Break of structure and break of counter trend line. We also had a head and shoulder inside of this resistance zone about here. It was a no brainer, and we've come all the way down here. However guys as a trader there's something that i always do that protects me that helps me make a lot of money right so i like to write out my concerns right so when i jumped into this trade i was a bit worried about this left this place being a left shoulder a potential left shoulder and i felt like we were just going to run into here and zap all the way to the upside although everything was staying down but I was concerned about this so what i do when i'm concerned is i write it out and i write out what exactly Forex mastery students, take note of this. I write out what exactly I'm going to do if my concerns happen. So in this case, what happened was once we came here, as you can see, although we came lower, I mean, it went in my favor. I'm happy. I'm glad. But I always see one thing about trading is I never leave anything to chance. So once we come down here, I said I was going to close out 10% of my position. I moved stop losses to break even. So that's exactly what I did. Come down here. If I have... I can't remember how many lots I have have open, but for the sake of calculation, if you have ten lots open, you close out one lot and move stop losses to break even, so you have nine lots left open on this trade, right? So so simple and so straightforward. So now you're probably asking yourself, okay, first trade is gone. How do we jump on this second trade? Now it's so simple and straightforward. Now, guys, you have to understand that. Uh, rather, I saw a lot of people on social media trying to sell AUD USD, but the honest truth is it was a bit premature at the time. This market dropped off a cliff. Very rarely do you see the market start pulling back against a fall off. If that happens, you need to be careful. That's not when you want to be jumping in for a trend continuation or a pullback. If you see bearish engulfing candle and next thing you see another bullish engulfing candle in the opposite direction, you need to calm down, relax, and relax, Habibi, calm down, okay? Because one thing I've learned about Forex is now, let me teach you. Come, come, let me teach you something. Zoom in. I'll teach you something. If you have a sell-off, the market doesn't come pull back up so steeply like this. The market doesn't move. Doesn't, the market barely works like this. It's not this linear, right? So even if the market wants to continue lowering lower, it will, it will move to the right a bit, to like this, to like this, to like this, to like this, to like this. Drop! Drop! Do you get what I mean? So, unfortunately, I saw a lot of people calling sell trades on AUDUSD. It was just too early. It was just too premature. Um, you need to give it some time. So, let's go down to a four-hour time frame to see how we can potentially jump into this juicy trade. Now, as you can see, structure, simple and straightforward. Double term. Double bottom, it's looking like a, maybe like a third bottom, didn't really touch it. We've broken it and we've come back in to test this region about here. Most people are selling here. And they fail to also realize that there's a supply zone somewhere around here. So if I just quickly go and plug my supply zone, I'm not going to show you guys how I like to plug my supply zones only for the Forex Matry students only. <laughs> Everything is proprietary. Want to learn? Get the Forex Matry. Get the Forex Matry program and change your life. Change your life. <laughs> but yeah, um, enough about me. Now... But for real, the link is in the description. Change your life, bro. Description, change your life. Check the link in the description to change your life. Anyway, so I know most people sold about here. And let me tell you something clear, very clear. Some people will call it market manipulation, but it wasn't actually market manipulation. The market was just, just needed to fulfill some technical levels. So you sell here, and then the market... And you see, let me show you something, guys. Let me show you something. For those of you that sold here, the market will come down next thing. For you know what's happening... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's coming back, it's coming back, it's coming back, and it stops here. So this is 1 a.m. my time. If you look 1 a.m. my time, and then you wake up the next morning, whew, the market has finally gone back down. Yes, we're gonna make profit. And then the market starts going back up. Going back. Oh my god, it comes down like she thinks oh, stop loss. <laughs> that's what always happens. I mean, that used to that's what used to happen to me during my early days. I mean days of pain and agony. But with Dapper Willis, you shall lose no more. Um, so, <clears throat> what's going to happen? How are we going to swing this? For me personally, I'm going to swing this with my favorite entry strategy, which is break and retest of counter trend line. So, there are two ways for you to jump into this. You can either wait for a push into the supply region about here. 
bam, snap it on there. But that's for the more aggressive traders. Um, or you can wait for a break of this counter trend line for further downside. However, if we break above, so don't trade inside of the supply zone, please. Jeez. If you want to get a more refined entry strategy and exit strategy, check the Forex Mastery Program Module 5. It is there, please. Don't sell in the supply zone. You have their certain things, criteria you need to wait for. I can't share that here. Anyway, so it's so simple and straightforward. AUD USD, I'm projecting, I'm projecting. So obviously, first level target, I'm going to take out a slight portion of my trade at or 0.65665 or 0.6565. Yeah, just a little 10% as always of this trade. But if I just bring this, sorry guys, where is this guy? My favorite trades, my short position. So if my short positions are here, stop loss is here. So all things being equal, we could have a decent eight to one risk to reward ratio on this. No, 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 relax, bro. We could have a decent eight to one risk to reward ratio on this bad boy. Um, if we can get a bounce off of supply zone and then we can jump into this. So this could be a very juicy second trade for us um so however i'll be taking out 10 percent of my position here and once the market gets here i'll be moving stop losses to break even provided we stay below the provided we stay below this resistance bar and this supply zone somewhere around here um so yeah um what else was i gonna say and i also noticed a very decent wave count going on on uh AUD USD. so i say x to a to b to c D is going to form somewhere around here. We might push into here for about E. And then once once E forms and we start coming down, it's done. Is what? It's done. Don't play with the E wave, man. X to E pattern. Killing it since day one, man. Um, so, yeah. So, it's so simple and straightforward, as you can see. Um, now, the, why do I have the confidence to say ADS is going to drop? Everything all stems from the higher time frame. As you can see, higher time frame has told me down. So my entire mind, body, and soul is looking at what? Selling opportunities. That's how you get a strong bias. And that's how you're able to what? Be confident in your strategy and your analysis. You need guidance from above, from up there, which is the monthly and the weekly. Anyways, enough about AUD USD. So simple and straightforward. Click, click, bang, bang. Don't stress yourself expecting further downside and we'll see exactly how it goes now i'm done with AUD USD. i've got two pairs that are annoying me it's euro usd and gbp usd but before i get into the annoying guys let's talk about the two guys that i no 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 let's talk about the annoying guys we'll save the last cool guy for 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 for, for the last part so that you guys don't tune off you know you always have to save the best artist for last if not people will leave the show early so let's go and don't skip if you skip anyway if you skip this your your own skip this your your own because i want to explain euro usd now and a lot, a lot of people are in euro usd at the moment so euro i told you guys this guy this place was going to be a problem i knew and also there's confluence here it's confluence so literally there's confluence about here so the euro probably going to push up a bit I won't be surprised if the euro tries to attempt 1.09928. I don't really have much to say about the euro as we speak. I'm not really interested in trading the euro. If I zoom into a four hour time frame just to see what exactly is happening. Ideally, I would hope this is a fake out. If I come to the daily, let me try and see if I can get. Hold on, people. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's make sure we're getting these levels right. So the euro is not exactly safe just yet. So if we clear 1.078, we might have a brief rally to the upside, 1.09928. But I don't want that to happen. I want the euro to come down. Because when the euro trends down, every other pair trends down. But if this thing starts to trend to the upside, you know what that means? Full scale trend reversal. And I'm not in the mood. I am not in the mood for any damn trend reversal right now. Oh my god, Euro US. Just cooperate. 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 
cooperate or maybe he just wants to come and test here for a double top i don't really know can't really say much about the euro as we speak that's why i said we have two pairs that are neither here nor there and the next one is gbp usd now gbp usd don't forget break of counter trend line it was supposed to just drop all the way to the upside but like i said to you guys area of concern this guy about here and guess what we did guys we came here and jumped back up saving me a lot of money right and now the market just wants to play around so for gbp usd and euro usd what do you do when the market isn't showing you any promising signs you have to chill out maybe it wants to flag only god knows where it wants to flag to <laughs> Only God knows where he wants to flag to. X8, B, T, C, T, T, T. Well, we'll see. Nobody can say yet for GBP USD. We wanted to drop. It didn't drop. Now we're technically in the range. Okay, so we'll probably push up into the top of this range and do what it needs to do. But like I said, top down analysis on Forex Mastery, you don't have to depend on just one pair. There's so, there's so much variety, right? So Euro USD and GBP USD. I'm going to have to see you a lot later, bro. HDUSD is looking like it's going to feed me, right? So, quick update on gold. Gold has breached. Gold has breached and gotten into $2,000 per ounce. Let me just scale down to the four time frame just to see what exactly is happening. So, weekly. So, what exactly is happening to gold? Let's go over to the monthly time frame to see exactly what could be going on with gold. So, as you always know, what I like to do, come on highest time frames, which is a monthly time frame just to have a look um simple simple very simple analysis this is the top so as we speak gold has decided to marry marry the top of this resistance point right so we've tried to breach it first time tried to breach it second time um let me see if which what if anyone was higher than the other if i just zoom in pretty nicely uh so this is technically a lower high from here but it's, it's pretty much a double top right so what i feel gold is going to do next is i won't be surprised if gold decides to because i can see a lot of buying pressure there's a lot of buying pressure around the resistance as we speak so i'm going to be keeping an, a close eye on for out for gold um i won't be surprised if gold decides to shoot all the way into 2007 2070 dollars per ounce i would not be surprised if that happens actually let me see maybe we might be having certain levels of pullback into the demand levels yeah so I honestly won't be surprised if we decide if we have a spin-off to the upside um so i quickly highlight something so we kicked off from here hold on guys you guys might be saying, why is, why is he he's starting to use a lot more demands on these days? Why? Yeah, yeah, boy, yeah, boy, yeah, boy. <laughs> so I wouldn't be surprised if we come into 1.19. I'll be watching this pretty closely. As you can see, for those of you who say, oh, this year's strategy doesn't work on lower time frame. Well, one hour time frame. I don't like coming to lower time frames, but even when I have to come on lower time frames, best believe, bro, I'm gonna sm I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna smash it. I'm gonna smash it. <laughs> best believe, I'm gonna smash it. <laughs> so yeah, we might have a pullback into this region about here. Um, give me a sec. There's a tool I just discovered that I like to use. That I I think I like the tool. Let me see. Not here. Curve. Yay! I like this guy. I like this guy. Ooh, it's cool, right? They cool. <laughs> so yeah, um, if we potentially see a pullback of gold into one one nine two zero, we can potentially see a push into. 2070 although we're trading around resistance zones as we speak this is very very um murky waters if you don't have to leave gold alone i won't exactly be trading gold maybe i'll be using a very small amount uh, of my of my account to trade gold but um but um yeah i won't be i won't exactly be 
B, give me six. So we have another one down here. So either of these demand zones might push gold higher, right? So I'm just going to be watching gold um, just in the corner of my eye. But for now, um, so medium term, gold is going to shoot up into 2070, right? But overall, if we break this area, woo, woo, quick Fibonacci, swing low to swing high. You see, it's simple and shoot. Absolutely. So, um, if gold takes out our, you know, obviously, this target at 2070, next level target to be 20, not 20, $2,070 per ounce. If we take out $2,070 per ounce, next level target for gold is going to be $2,250 per ounce. Like I said, once again, guys, there's a lot of selling pressure around, not selling pressure, buying pressure around all time, gold's all time highs, right? So, I will just be watching gold pretty nicely, pretty gently, just to see what exactly is going on. I won't be surprised if we pull into 1920 for the upside. If we breach it, 1882, if we are unable to sustain above these two levels, then this trade is invalid. So gold might pop off, might just pop off, I might just play with it a bit. Some lower time frame trading. I actually don't like trading lower time frames, but people are always coming for me on Twitter and say, oh, he doesn't like trading on lower time frame. So I'm going to play around with it for a bit, right? I'm going to play around with it for a bit. So um, yeah, that's gold in a nutshell. Now to cap everything off, what I'm looking at at the moment is BTC. Let me just delete this, BTC. Bitcoin. So let's come on the monthly time frame just to have a look at what exactly is happening to Bitcoin. Now, I've been very bearish on Bitcoin for the longest time. However, my guy has come to do a full scale turnaround. Okay, it's a full scale turnaround for BTC. So, um, in order not to bore you guys, we've come down here as you can see. We've pretty much formed the left shoulder, head, and this this pin. Best believe this pin. This pin has been here for a right shoulder, right? And this is the neckline of the head and shoulder. So the head and shoulder pattern has been breached. We have breached the head and shoulder pattern. We have a weekly candle close. Ladies and gentlemen, BTC is on its way. You heard it here first on Babsy Radio. It's on, here, on its way to $31,681 per ounce. My overall target for BTC is actually inside this this region about here so this will actually the next major supply zone sorry guys if you can hear kids screaming you know i live in dubai kids are living their best lives it's amazing out here everybody's happy in this country That's what happens when you have money everybody's happy when they have money <laughs> so um bitcoin my overall target for bitcoin is forty seven thousand five hundred dollars per ounce um that's my overall target for Bitcoin, hold on, let me just adjust that properly. Yep, that's my overall target for Bitcoin. So, however, my first level target for Bitcoin is 316181. So, how do we jump on this bad boy? How do we jump on this bad boy? How do we jump on this bad boy? So, if I come down to uh, the four hour time frame and I look for potential areas of uh, demand, so if it's one area of demand about here, so I have two areas where I feel like BTC might just might just be looking at pulling back into. So then the first place would be twenty six four hundred. So I think I don't think we're gonna sustain these highs it's a bit too high for BTC. Um, so where's that guy? I like hold on, this one guy I like. I just found him. I just found a new guy my guy so it's called the curve if i'm not mistaken so i'm just going to put down my favorite so the curve we have two potential ideologies for btc but yeah btc is heading to the upside so i'm going to swoop this off if we come into 26 400 um or 24290 if we take out both uh demand demand zones then it's the trade the trade is pretty much off the table for me um, but I think most likely we're going to come to 26,400 and then my buy, my buy biases are going to be around there somewhere, somehow, if that makes any sense to you. So if you come on the one hour time frame, it's pretty much the same thing. So, um, buy setups are going to look like this. 
long positions are going to look a bit like this. Yeah. <sighs> I'm getting tired, 6.4. And then I'm going to hold, of course, I'm going to hold for my overall target, which is for almost at 46k. So if I just do this, um, long positions here. And then we have this bad boy that takes us all the way to the upside. So we have a potential so you're probably wondering what exactly is this guy doing so it's so simple and straightforward now this is what i like to do hmm? i i look at the overall move on the high time frame sorry guys i my stuck in my nose i look at the overall move on a high time frame but then i scale to a lower time frame to refine my entries so what I've done here is I've used a very small stop loss to catch an entire, you understand, to get into a trade. So I use a small stop loss to get into a trade. First of all, as you can see, my first level target is about here. Although this is a decent risk to reward, but do you get what I mean? Like it's, it's decent. However, um, what was I going to say? It's decent. However, it's still, do you understand? It's still kind of like medium term, right? Still kind of like medium term. Now, um, what I would then do is once we hit my first level target which is here i will probably close out maybe 20 percent of my position then move stop losses to break even then i'll hold this trade all the way to my overall target which is here thereby increasing my risk to reward from not just 6.45 but all the way so we're looking at almost like a 25 to 1 risk to reward ratio now, this is why I tell people that all I need is one or two pairs that are looking nice and are doing pretty well. I don't need to trade much. AUD, USC, and BTC can pretty much do it for me, right, in this situation. Are we going to get out the way up to 45K? That depends on if we're able to take out this level. Do you get what I'm saying? So, that's pretty much it. This is how I'm able to place my trades, do my analysis, place my trades, and go spend time with my family. When this trade eventually does trigger me in for a buy position, whichever one we come into, um, when it eventually does trigger me in for a buy position, and then things obviously start to kick off, I don't need to always be in front of my screen. I just check my charts maybe for 10 minutes a day, and I'm chilling. This is exactly what you do, you know, this is exactly how you set the market up, what to work for you. <laughs> to work for you so ladies and gentlemen my two favorite moves at the moment are AUD USD and BTC as always I'm here my name is Dapo Willis thank you for having me um I was going to say something once again this analysis is simple straightforward and clear um don't forget to grab the forex mastery program the link is in the description as always help yourself help yourself to help your bank account okay once again i love you guys and i'll catch you guys in my other screen so i've done AUD, USD, euro usd gbp usd and gold and finally btc so if anything comes up i'll definitely be updating you guys subscribe Tell your friends about this channel, okay, so that you can help them make some money as well. All right, guys, I'll see you guys on my other screen. Let's go.